page 458. 8. Miscellaneous. M-I-S-C-E-L-L-A-N-E-O-U-S. Friendship. Annual Exam 2017. Points. A bond among persons. Need of friendship. Choice of friends. Things that help friendship exist. Friendship is a bond of relationship based on mutual trust and respect. It means close association of any two persons without having any evil motive or selfish greed. We social beings cannot live alone. We must have companions with whom we can share our joys and sorrows. We need friends to open our heart on all occasions. Without friends our life becomes dull. But it is not wise to trust everyone who professes to be our friend. Such companions who exhibit empathy in joy and woe, W-O-E, can be regarded as friends. It is rather strange that we are not much cautious, C-A-U-T-I-O-U-S, about choice of friends. The result is that most friendship proves folly, F-O-L-L-Y. It is true that prosperity brings friends and adversity tries them. When darkness overshadows our life, most of the companions fly away like a flock of seasonal, S-C-A-S-O-N-L, birds. This adversity helps us to recognize our true and sincere friends. So we must be particularly careful about those warm weather friends. A true friend must be sincere, truthful, trustworthy and sensitive to friends' thoughts and feelings. A good friend is a guide who stands by us in shine, S-H-I-N-E, and shed, S-H-E-D-E. A true friend is a good critic and philosopher. Word notes, mutual trust, Parashpurik Bishash, dull, nishpran, on all occasions, shop puristiti, folly, murkami, seasonal, morshumi, adversity, pratikulata, Trustworthy, Vishashtogo, Sensitive, Shangvedanshil. Page 459. Duties and Responsibilities of a Student. Points. Introduction. Need of Consciousness. Duties of Students. Awareness of Socio-Political Condition. Need to Avoid Active Politics. Conclusion. A student may not have to bear the burden of he slash her family, but he slash she has to perform a number of duties and responsibilities. These duties and responsibilities do not hamper his slash her studies, but help in his slash her all round development. Our country is troubled by evils like communalism, comma, casteism, comma, superstitions and regionalism. To fight against such evils, students can play a vital role. A student can actively work to uproot illiteracy, comma, spread consciousness about health, hygiene and sanitation among the poor people in slums. He slash she can work collectively through national and capital, service S capital, schemes S capital and other organizations for rural uplift by helping them to set up cooperative societies. A student can fight against the exploitation of poor villagers and show them the way in getting easy access to bank loans and other facilities of savings. He can also take part in relief operations during the time of flood and famine. 
Students are the future citizens of the country. They must have political consciousness and must be aware of the socio-political condition of his country. But he slash she must not actively get involved with politics at this stage for it will distract them from studies. Dabbling in politics is not the objective of a student. He slash her foremost duty is to lead a disciplined life, develop good habits and acquire knowledge. Only then he slash she can be a living force of the society and become a model citizen of he slash her country. Word notes hamper Badhadeva. Communalism, Shampradaikata, Dabbling, Shokin Bhave Chorchakora, Casteism, Jati Bhed, Model, Adarsho, Regionalism, Pradeshikata, Sanitation, Shastra Vavastha, Shastra Vidhan. Population explosion in India, points, introduction, causes, remedy, sought, conclusion. Population explosion is a global problem, but it is assuming an alarming proportion in India. India is the most populous state after China, 1281 millions. According to latest census, population of India is 1027 millions. Such a huge population, instead of becoming a national asset, has become a national liability. Religious beliefs and lack of education are the most important causes for overpopulation. More children do not mean more workers for the future, but more people without work and more mouths to feed. The poor people being unconscious about the dangers and threats of population have a tendency to give birth to more children. But unfortunately the situation worsens because they fail to provide proper nutrition and education to the children. Though the government has taken plans and strategies for economic development, the growth of population has upset all plans. India at present has one-sixth of the world's population. Its population will be reaching 1.6 billion by 2050. This means that there would be grave concerns about basic needs like food, water, health and housing. Under the circumstances, immediate remedy is needed to meet the problem of population explosion in India population explosion. In India consciousness is needed for most to control the population outburst. Family planning must be promoted especially among low income groups. Illiteracy must be driven away from the country. Besides, the government should also take serious steps to stop migration and influx of refugees from neighboring countries like Myanmar, Nepal, Sri Lanka and Bangladesh. Otherwise, the choice between controlling population or perpetuating poverty in our country will become more difficult. Word notes. Liability die. Migration, Purijan, Influx, Logjunir Kromagato Agamon, Perpetuating, Chirusthai, Refugees, Sharunarthi, Populous, Jonobuhul. The Night Before an Examination, Points, Introduction, Tension, Parents Try to Ease the Tension, Conclusion. Examination is something that always evokes fear in our mind. It makes us feel nervous. As it approaches nearer, our heart beats faster. We inevitably feel that our preparations are not sound. 
I experienced the same before my Madhyamik examination. It was my first public examination and initially I was excited. My parents had a lot of expectation and I was sure that I would be performing quite well. But as days passed, my excitement turned into fear and apprehension. On the evening before my English examination, I was quite restless. I could not decide what to read. My father, who is a teacher by profession, advised me to relax lest, lest I should forget what I have studied. I went through the texts first and then felt that I must practice some grammar. Soon I changed my mind and decided to read some suggested paragraphs. My tension grew when I felt dissatisfied with what I had written. My mother offered me some tea so that it might energize me. My father asked me to do some meditation. I followed his advice and felt better. I just browsed my study material and did not try out anything new. Before going to bed, I prayed to God to help me in retaining my composure. I felt much better. I saw the news headlines in the television as a part of my routine, then put out the lights and went to bed. Thankfully, the earthly fears of examination did not torment me and I had a good sleep without nightmares. Word notes, evoke, utpanno kare, agitated, uttejito, inevitably, avashambhavi bhabe, jumbled up, talgul pakiye galo, nightmares, dushapno. Page 460. Your experiences in an examination hall. Points. Introduction. Situation in the hall at the commencement of exams. In which a letter enters an anxiety of the examiners. Every examinee busy in writing. Conclusion. A student has an inseparable relationship with examination. Examination evokes tension, fear and apprehension. But when the hour arrives, a student checks off his fears and concentrates on answering the questions. To a student, examinations are nothing new, but my first day in the examination hall during the Madhyamik examination was very different from the usual. The students inside the hall were taking their seats. They looked tense. It was the mathematics examination and most of the students appeared nervous. Some students were going through the geometrical theorems and problems. The bell rang. We gathered old books and bags and kept them outside in the corridor before taking our seats. The invigilators came and there was a hushed silence. Answer scripts were distributed. We were asked to write our roll numbers and names properly. Our hearts were beating wildly. When the question papers were distributed, there were some mixed emotions and feelings. Some of us were ecstatic and were thanking God, while some looked dejected. For my part, I went through the question paper and found it quite satisfactory. 
the bell rang again and the exam started. For the next two hours I was pursued by, quote, time is winged chariot, unquote, and did not have a breathing space to look at others. However, after a couple of hours there was a turmoil. Two students had smuggled chits of answers and were caught red-handed. The invigilator threatened them with severe punishment. The students begged pardon. One even started crying. Finally, the examiner warned them sternly and let them off. But he cautioned that on the repetition of the crime, they would be expelled. I concentrated on the concluding part of the question paper. Everyone was writing at feverish speed. When the final bell rang, the invigilators collected the answer scripts. Ultimately, everything ended on a happy note and for my part, I cast a sigh of relief at the successful completion of a vital examination. Word notes. Inseparable. Abhichetto. Ecstatic. Uchoshito Anonde. Dejected. Bimorsho. Monmora. Turmoil. Bisringhala. Gondogol. Expelled, Bohishkar Korahulo. A festival you enjoy, annual exam 2014 points. Name of the festival, season, time of the year, how it is celebrated, your feelings. Durga Puja is the most important festival of the Bengalis. Friends and family members unite and celebrate it together. The Durga Puja conjures up an image of complete happiness. All class and caste divisions disappear as people descend, D-E-S-C-E-N-D, -E -E on the streets to celebrate. Kolkata is decked in gorgeous colors. When autumn, A-U-T-U-M-N, comes after the rains, my heart leaps up in joy. The sky becomes blue and all nature seems to smile. The sweet fragrance of Shuli, S-E-U-L-I, fills the air. The weather is pleasant. In English calendar, the Durga Puja is held generally in October. The Puja has its real beginning on the day of Shashti, S-A-S-T-H-I, with the invocation of the Goddess. But the enjoyment begins on Shaptami, S-A-P-T-A-M-I. I hear with deep devotion the mantra chanted by the priest. We all stand there to see the ceremony of Aroti, A-R-A-T-I. We then offer flowers to the goddess and pray for health and prosperity. In the evening, the priest performs the evening Aroti. The next day, the puja is performed as on the Shaktami day. At about midnight, we are roused from sleep to see the Shondhi puja, S-A-N-D-H-I. This puja has to be performed within a very short time. So, the priest recites the mantras with unusual rapidity. On Navomi, N-A-V-A-M-I, the goddess is worshipped with due spirit. These three days are spent in great joy and mirth, M-I-R-T-H. Time flies. There seems music in the air, in the skies. Finally, Doshomi, D-A-S-H-A-M-I, comes. A few hours before sunset, the priest chants mantras. The drummers, D-R-U-M-M-E-R-S, reach a crescendo, C-R-E-S-C-E-N-D-O, of rapid bits. I imagine that the Great Mother is crying. 
After sunset, the idol is immersed in the river. We then touch the feet of the elders and embrace our friends. Sweets are distributed. Every Durga Puja leaves us emotionally drained. But there is something in the Vishaljan music reminds me that such a festive occasion will come again next year. Word notes, conjures, kalponai kono drishyo chitrito kara, decked, shajano hai, fragrance, shugandho, prosperity, shafallo, mirth, anandochal, crescendo, kromosho uchoshare bachi amun shongi tangsho, immersed, vishorjan deva holo. My likes and dislikes, points, introduction, love for nature, liking for simple people, reading and classics, reading the classics, love for home, conclusion. A person's likes and dislikes are determined by his social and cultural background. Having grown up in a village, I have a great love for nature. It never deceives a person who loves her. I always feel eager to go and enjoy steep hills, greenery of the open valleys, cool breeze and sweet chirping of the birds. It always has a soothing effect on my mind. Secondly, I like simple people with hearty smiles. Complexities of urban life and plastic smiles of the urbanites initiate me. So, sometimes I visit the countryside to meet the country folk. There, I come in contact with simple and straightforward people. My favorite pastime is reading novels. A novel presents a pen picture of life, society or the characters around us. The picture may be drawn from real life or from imagination. I get an insight into the men and manners, the habits and customs, the passions and prejudices of the people around us. Last but not the least, I love my sweet home. To me, the sweetest heaven is home. Page 461 I live with my caring mother, father, my elder sister, and my faithful companion, pet dog, Jim, G-I-M. The shelter and support I get at home is unparalleled. But there are certain things that I dislike. Firstly, I dislike somebody's casual approach to their essential duties. Secondly, I do not like to brood, B-R-O-O-D, over past misdeeds and failures. I do not like daydreaming over future either. I always live in the present moment. Thirdly, I dislike the corrupt, C-O-R-R-U-P-T, and dishonest politicians. What I try to do is to concentrate on my likes and live as full a life as possible in today's world. Word notes deceive Pratarithokara, plastic smiles Nokulhashi, Arbanites Shohure Keta Durosto, Seas Birato Hava, Existence Ostito. Life of a schoolboy points Introduction Learning Obeying School Discipline social life, holidays, conclusion. To live a carefree life is the privilege of a schoolboy. This life is made up of schoolwork and holidays. He studies in the classroom and home, his school discipline, his social life, his games and his ways to spend holidays shape his character. A boy is sent to school mainly to acquire knowledge and develop his personality. 
Seriousness in studies refines a student and helps him climb up the summit of success in life. A schoolboy should not violate the school discipline. The strict discipline, D-I-S-C-I-P-L-I-N-E, teaches him some very useful virtues, such as obedience, punctuality, diligence, D-I-L-L-I-G-E-N-C-E, regularity and good habits. Noble ideas help a schoolboy cultivate a healthy mind which is free from greed and arrogance. A-R-R-O-G-A-N-C-E The social life in the school is very important for the growing schoolboy. He interacts with his fellows in the classroom, the playground and during tiffin break. Company of friends enlightens, enlivens him, and makes his world bright and sunny. Thus, he learns the important lessons of sharing and other social manners. A schoolboy looks forward to holidays. Holidays offer him a sweet escape from drudgeries, D-R-U-D-G-E-R-I-E-S, of daily routine of study. So, a schoolboy's life is full of variety, interest and freshness. That is why an adult pines for his golden school days. Word notes, summit, shikorchura, violet, ograjo baomannukara, virtues, shodgun obhash, obedience, agganuburtita. Punctuality, Shamayanu Bhurtita, Diligence, Adhavoshai, Cultivate, Purishilan Chorchakora, Arrogance, Odhatto, Enliven, Sonu Pranito Kore, Drudgeries, Age Khatuni, Pines, Akul Bhave Kamuna Kora, Autumn in Bengal, A U T U M N, Points, Introduction, Description of Nature, Season of Festivals, Conclusion. Autumn means a blue sky where white, fleecy, F-L-E-E-C-Y, clouds float. Autumn means cheerful sunshine. Autumn means to taste the elixir of life and to enjoy a totally unhurried way of life during the pujas. Autumn means going on a holiday that refreshes and rejuvenates the mind from the monotony of daily existence. Autumn means the season of festivals. Autumn covers two Bengali seasons, Sharut and Hemanto. It starts when the monsoon ends and winter awaits round the corner. Jubilant autumnal nature softens the climate, wears a festive look and beautifies our life. The kash, K-A-A-S-H, sprouts across the countryside. Dawn breaks with the sweet aroma of shuli. The lotus and lilies the lotus and lilies sway in the breeze in the ponds. Grass holds the sunshine in its lap. The earth gives off intoxicating scents, S-C-E-N-T-S. There is music in the air and in the skies. The music echoes the ecstasy of human souls. One feels goat. There is music in all things, comma. If men had ears, next line. The earth is but the music of the spheres, top unquote, Stevenson. Sim smiling autumnal nature is man's best friend. She gives us all nourishment that helps to sustain life. This season transports Bengalis into of delights. This season 
transports Bengalis into delights, printing mistake, because of the festivals. They are then away from the harsh realities of life. The Durga Puja is celebrated with great pomp and show. Then comes the festivals of Lakshmi Puja, Kali Puja and Bhatri Ditya. The Bengalis exchange their love and respect for one another during these festivals. When the festivities are over, there is a nip in the air. The autumn is on the decline through mild days and cool nights. Winter sets in. The autumn goes as it comes, enriching us with gifts of mind. But we do not pine, for we remember the words of Shelley Cologne Court. If winter comes, can spring be far behind? Question mark, unquote. Word notes, flee see, poshomer matu. Elixir of life, shorbo rogo haro oshud. Rejuvenets, punurud jivitokara. Monotony, aghemi. Beautiful, shundor kore tole. Intoxicating, mohomoy. Festivities, utshabonushtan. Pomp, jag jamuk. Role of media in the present day world points Introduction, role of print media, role of electronic media, use and abuse of media, conclusion. Media, M-E-D-I-A, is certainly very important to make people aware of world events. The media plays a very important role in developing public opinion. At the advent of human civilization, Print media was discovered. The role of print media in the making of this present day world is indubitably very crucial. Print media brought about Renaissance, capital R, E N A I S S A N C E, in European countries and helped other countries of the world to progress rapidly. In the fields of science, comma, literature, comma, philosophy, comma, art and history, print media ushered progress which the world is still enjoying. Now the modern invention is electronic media. It is of course indispensable in the making of better future. Electronic media has given an easy access to the world. But what one must remember is that News and articles should always be objective and impersonal. Personal opinions may misguide people. This is harmful to the democracy of a country. Page 462. But the media are now to a great extent commercial because of the involvement of corporates. News is often dictated by the corporate sponsors. And this kind of abuse of the media causes social disorder, makes people divided and above all leads a state to social, political and economic depression. D-E-P-R-E-S-S-I-O-N As the role of the media is to make people socially, politically and culturally conscious, it requires justifiable use so that it can express most objectively public opinions, offer the scope of debate, and enhance communication and proper understanding. Unfortunately, the media in our country do business above all and create confusion in the minds of people. All of us should be conscious of it. Word notes, aware, abogato, indubitably, nishandehe, crucial, guruttapurno, democracy, ganatantra, corporates, jautho muldhoni shangasthaguli, sponsors, kono onushthanir bai bahonkari shangasthaguli, depression, hatasha.